decisions to make with, with some of the guys that are in the lineup because they are free agents. But when you look at the, the, the construction of this lineup as it is, is it still good enough to get where you want after looking at the last two years and kind of what led to you guys get, getting out of the playoffs early? Uh, I think ability-wise, there's no question in my mind this is good enough. This is a championship caliber uh, lineup and championship caliber players. I think we have to go about it a little differently, I think. Um, and that's something I've talked to Gigi and I've talked to um, also to Charlie about. I think that we just have to have a different uh, mindset, maybe a different approach offensively than maybe we would have had, had in 08 or 09. I think it's a different ball club in that regard. I don't think we have nearly as much power. I think we have to rely on uh, you know having better at bats, being better with two strikes, being better situational hitters. and. And frankly, those are things that we're going to have to change. You know, we, um, um, if we want to be a championship caliber club and get to the World Series, and that those are the things that are going to have to change. Go ahead, David. Ruben, what, what do you know, if anything, more about A, when, when Howard's surgery will be, uh, B, how long, it, I know mean, you probably don't know recovery time, but, but given the uncertainty, you have to plan on him missing, you know, half the season in terms of your off-season strategy, and, and three, what can you do? Yeah, no, I don't think it's going to be a half the season. He may it may compromise part of the season, but uh, he is he is going to see Dr. Meyerson uh, today. As a matter of fact, Scott Sheridan is going down to see him in Baltimore, and uh, it's pretty good. Uh, but he may also seek another opinion for Dr. Anderson. I think he's in uh, I believe he's in Maryland, North Carolina, but I'm not positive. Um, and we're going to try to get it done as quickly as possible. And I think that I've talked to Casey Close, his agent, and uh, you know, obviously every single day we wait. Uh, then again, we have to make sure that uh, the swelling has gone down enough such that we can do go ahead and do the surgery. So um, doing our due diligence to try to get the right guy and the guy that, uh, that, that Ryan feels comfortable with at the same time. Uh, you know, get it done as quickly as possible so we can get him on the road to recovery. It's probably going to be at least four months, how long, after that, I, I would not even begin to be able to tell you until we he has the surgery and we discuss it with the doctors and we go from there. So this isn't something that will alter your off-season plans in terms of personnel, free agency, trade, stuff like that? I don't think so. I don't think so unless unless they decide to tell us, hey, you know, it's going to be a year. And I, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Todd? Uh, Ruben? Yeah. Uh, how important is it? Do you feel to inject some new life into the clubhouse so things don't get stagnant or you know, remain status quo? And second of all, you talked about the lineup and talking to Gigi and, and Charlie. Isn't this kind of who these, so you don't believe that this is just who these guys are? Like, you know, that this is, is a simple talking to or just a talking about approach to the plate. Is that really going to be able to change them and make them more patient at the plate and give them better quality at bats? Well, I think we, we fail ourselves if we if we decide just to just accept this is what we are and we're not going to try to get any better. I think that um, I think we owe it to our fans, we owe it to uh, the players, when we owe it to each other to try to do what we can to improve and to change because obviously it's not working. It's not worked enough uh, to get us to the next level, and so our next level is to try to get to the World Series and win it. And um, there's some things that we can do offensively that can change that. I'm pretty, I'm very pleased with our uh, things, how things worked out pitching wise. I like, love the development of some of our young players in the bullpen. They got some great experience. Um, I just think that, uh, and, and defensively, I think we had a very, very good club again, and we've been kind of spoiled by that over the last ten years or so. But, uh, but I think honestly, um, offensively, we have to look at different ways to try to improve and. I think we have the personnel to do it. Um, it's just a matter of whether they want to. They really want to, you know, take the time and be committed to changing, you know, some of the things that, that should change and maybe improving on some of the areas that they need to improve on.